We all occasionally watch sci-fi movies and those weather conditions do look impressive. However, we don't always realize that many of these are real and happen nowadays at a similar scale as on screen. There is evidence to suggest that climate change is increasing the periodicity and intensity of some extreme weather events. Let's discuss some of the most dangerous and powerful atmospheric conditions and spread awareness about them. Dust Storm A dust storm is characterized by strong winds and dust-filled air over a large area. It is a meteorological phenomenon common in arid and semi-arid regions of the planet. Dust storms form when a strong wind blows loose sand and dirt particles from a dry surface. This process is called saltation. These sandstorms can reach up to a mile in height and are very dangerous. Dust storms aren't only blowing sand. Particles that are blown about at high speeds may include small branches, thorns, twigs, shards of glass, pieces of bark and many many more. These can create serious health risks. However, if you, in theory, end up being in the middle of a dust storm, or if you are a National Geographic reporter, it would seem like you've been transported to Mars. The sand blocks out the sun completely during the storm. The wild thing. Blizzard. A blizzard is a severe snowstorm characterized by strong sustained winds of at least 56 km per hour and lasting for around 3 hours. The speed of the wind is what makes it a blizzard, not the amount of show. That's why the word blizzard is sometimes used incorrectly by the news media when talking about big winter storms, even if the storm is not technically a blizzard. Any geographical location that has snowfall can have a blizzard or blizzard-like weather conditions. Even though the blizzards may look very epic and beautiful in photographs, they are pretty dangerous. Traveling on foot during a blizzard can result in severe injury or even kill you. Due to the very low visibility it's easy to get lost even around your neighborhood. Hypothermia, an abnormally low body temperature, onsets very fast during such weather conditions. Driving a car during a blizzard is also extremely dangerous. Accidents are far more likely to occur because of the low visibility and dangerous road conditions. So, please, if you happen to live in geographical areas where blizzards occur frequently, stay home and watch a movie with a cup of hot chocolate. Tornado. A tornado is a funnel-shaped really fast rotating column of air, which forms at the base of a storm cloud and reaches all the way to the ground. Out of all extreme weather conditions, tornadoes aren't the biggest in terms of scale, nor the most long-lasting. However, they are by far the deadliest and most destructive weather phenomenon. Tornadoes occur over a small area in a relatively short period. And this is what makes them so dangerous. A tornado can appear with very little or no warning, around 13 minutes, which leaves a very limited time to seek shelter. The primary force of this storm is a wind and it's incomparable to any other storm system. The tornado wind can easily exceed 480 km per hour. Just compare this number to the blizzard's 56 km per hour mentioned above. Another breathtaking and yet terrifying feature of tornadoes is that they are not naturally visible by themselves. A tornado is a column of wind. The objects on the ground they're picking up is what makes tornadoes visible. In certain areas like heavy forests it might be hard to identify an approaching tornado. Or, for example, if a tornado occurs at night, you may literally be unaware of it until it's right upon you. Fortunately, the areas where tornadoes are likely to occur are set with warning systems and the accuracy of those has been greatly improved over the last few decades. Tropical Cyclone Tropical Cyclone is the umbrella term used to describe hurricanes, typhoons, and cyclones. This phenomenon refers to high-speed winds moving in the circular motion occurring at the low pressure center. Hurricanes and typhoons start as a small tropical depression over the warm waters of the tropics. It grows over time into a tropical storm, which eventually turns into a hurricane or typhoon depending on the location, as well as their direction of rotation. The massive flooding that occurs as a result of a tropical cyclone is what makes it that dangerous. In some cases, even after the hurricane, water from high-lying regions can take days to reach values and cause widespread flooding. I'm sure most of us have heard of the Katrina hurricane. But have you ever wondered how the hurricanes are named? The World Meteorological Organization maintains rotating lists of names which are appropriate for each tropical cyclone basin. Please, note that the cyclones aren't named after any specific person. The names that are used must be familiar to the people in each geographic area, so everybody remembers and understands the tropical cyclones in their region. This is done in order to facilitate disaster risk awareness, preparedness, management and reduction. 
and if a cyclone was particularly deadly or costly, its name is retired and replaced by another one. The name Katrina was retired from the lists of names. Flood. A flood is an overflow of water that submerges land that is normally dry. Floods that occur as a result of a hurricane, monsoon, or another large storm, do not necessarily take place at the same time and location as the original event. They may happen days later, at a much larger scale, and at a distant location. The main causes of flooding range from snow melting to dam failures. When excessive rainfall exceeds the ground's ability to contain the water, flash floods occur. Flash floods are the most dangerous type of floods as they combine both the destructive power of a flood and incredible speed. The strength of the volume of moving water masses during flooding is especially deadly. For example, in the US floods kill more people each year than tornadoes, hurricanes or lightning. The scary thing is that floods can occur anywhere. To stay safe during a flood, go to the highest spot possible. Ice Storm Ice storm is another winter violent weather. It's a storm which results in the accumulation of at least 6.4 mm of ice on exposed surfaces. It is also characterized by freezing rain, also known as a glaze event or, in some parts of the US, as a silver thaw. Ice storms may create truly beautiful landscapes, the freezing rain from an ice storm covers everything with heavy, smooth glaze ice. Even though they are generally not violent storms, they create hazardous driving and walking conditions. Tree branches and power lines can easily snap under the weight of the ice. The freezing rains are also notorious for downing power lines from the weight of accumulating ice. This causes power outages in affected areas. This is extremely dangerous to aircraft since the ice can literally remold the shape of the airfoil and flight control surfaces. Lightning Storm Also known as thunderstorms, this weather event occurs in a type of cloud known as a cumulonimbus, a dense, towering vertical cloud that forms from water vapor. The lightning storms are usually accompanied by strong winds and often produce heavy rain and sometimes other precipitation. The phenomenal thing about thunderstorms is that they may cause some of the other weather events mentioned today. For example, rainfall from thunderstorms causes flash flooding. Lightning is responsible for many fires around the world each year, and causes fatalities. Speaking specifically about lightning, even though it may not cause as many fatalities and damage as tornadoes or hurricanes, it is uniquely dangerous. It is unpredictable and the power with which they hit may be deadly to people and animals. And interestingly, lightning strikes are not necessarily linked to thunderstorms. They also occur during hurricanes and even volcanic eruptions, and may be produced during large forest fires. Hailstorm this one is not an independent weather system, it forms part of the mentioned above thunderstorms. This is basically rain that freezes in the sky, specifically in the cumulonimbus clouds, and falls to the ground as balls of ice. Due to its visual look, the real threat that a hailstorm poses is slightly exaggerated by the public. This doesn't mean, however, that it's not dangerous. For example, hail up to the size of softballs damages cars and windows, and kills livestock caught out in the open. The largest hailstone ever documented was 20 centimeters in diameter. It fell in South Dakota, United States, in 2010. Downburst. Sometimes downbursts are misinterpreted as tornadoes, however, they are a completely different phenomenon. Downbursts are very strong winds that descend from a thunderstorm. They spread out really quickly once they hit the ground and may cause damage similar to a tornado. The most common type of a downburst is called a microburst in which the damaging winds are only covering an area less than 2.5 miles across. Otherwise, that would be a macroburst. In order to warn the public about the upcoming damaging downburst, a severe thunderstorm warning would be issued. It is very important to take these warnings as serious as tornado warning. Extreme Heat Extreme heat finalizes our list for today. This phenomenon is surprisingly one of the deadliest and goes by almost entirely unnoticed in front of our eyes. Conditions are classified as a heat wave when unusually hot temperatures remain for two days or longer. It doesn't occur suddenly, but builds up over several days and it slowly affects both human and animal health with fatal consequences. And unlike weather events such as hurricanes and lightning, this doesn't have an early warning system. There is a phenomenon called an urban heat island which refers to a densely populated area that is substantially warmer than the surrounding regions. Unlike other atmospheric conditions, this localized weather occurrence is entirely the result of human activity. 
Moreover, the UE has a small but significant impact on global warming and climate change. Certain things do look really magnificent and impressive, however, may cause terrible damages and even human life losses. So, let's take care of our beautiful and amazing planet and let the geostorm. 2017, stay sci-fi rather than prediction. Dear viewer, don't forget to like and share this video if it was interesting. Write in the comments what weather events you happen to be a witness of. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.